G'day, I'm at the Shangri-La Resort in Fiji. About an hour down from the airport and um, been here with my family, the two kids, two and five years old, and it is bloody great. But the reason for this video review is that when I was looking at places in Fiji, it was really hard to get a gauge on what they were really like, especially you know, how good they were at accommodating a couple of kids. You knew that they were good, but at the same time, you didn't really kind of get it. Like how many kids pools are there? How deep are they? what kind of meal options and that type of stuff. So I'm gonna try and explore a little bit of that in this video today. So we start our journey here at the, uh, the Laguna Wing. And this is where most people are hanging out with kids because it's great. There's a lot of grass there right in front of the, uh, the units. And it's such a short stroll over that grassy area, the grassy knoll, straight to the pool. And the pool is where, again, most of the families hang out. People sitting there watching the kids swim like we did. That's called the lagoon pool. That's what it is. And it's full of water, which is good. Now there's three pools. There's that big one that you see there. And there's uh, a little kids pool there that was closed on that day. There was a uh, co-brown happening. It was closed for 24 hours. A little, uh, place you can eat there and get ice creams. That's that's that kids pool that was open by then. They cleared up the turd. And then there's also a, uh, a section there where it's not too deep the regular pool. Lots of people there, but still plenty of room to swim around. Grab yourself a coconut. Have that by the pool. Pretty damn good. Now the thing about this pool, you literally walk five metres and you're at the beach. They call that a lagoon. Now, I got a bit confused. I thought the lagoon was some swampy part out the back, but it's actually a beautiful beach and that's where everyone hangs out. There's the water park out there. Um, that's where kids Play and adults just flop around dementedly trying to navigate that thing. We stayed here in the, what's this room called? The Yanuka Lagoon Deluxe. Pretty small inside, but that's the view when you get out onto your balcony. And um, it's great to wake up to every morning, you can play tennis and stuff. Now this is another part of the resort called the Ocean Wing. Less kids here, but again, right on the water. And but if you're in, I went up to room 524 because I thought they looked pretty good. There's a balcony and that's what you're looking out to. You can request room 524 and that's the pool right next to it. Um, that's called the Takali pool. You can go there. That's a little thing where you can get a special lunch or get married, or divorced, whatever you like down in that little area. And there's that pool. So the Takali pool. A few kids but it's more adult oriented. And hanging off there is the other part of the ocean wing on the other side. Again, all facing the ocean. Everything faces the ocean here. And they don't make that claim, um, which I'm surprised. This is the adult pool. Um, kids aren't allowed here. They, they escort them off the premises with handcuffs. I'm joking. You can bring them here, but um, I didn't see many. That is the reef wing right there, and that kind of leads on to that adult pool. So there's some restaurants and cafes around there. Um, but the ones, it's pretty nice, huh? go there when the kids grown up. You can get uh, a little buggy around the place because it's a pretty big resort. Now nightlife. Oh, the Black Marlin Tropical Bar is going off. Well, there was three people in there when we were there, but we went pretty early. That's another bar. That's by the Takali Pool. That's pretty cool. And that's the same bar, but looking out from the back as the sun goes down. There's some people playing volleyball. They are pretty crap. Look at that. That's terrible. That's terrible technique. This is one of my favourite places I think I've ever been to. The Bilo Bar, um, named after the old supermarket chain here in Australia, which no longer exists. But um, we went here a couple of times, and I tell you what, if there's a better place on earth to have a beer, I don't know it. This is just great. It just really felt like you were having a holiday when you had a beer here. Um, that was on a nice day. This is a more overcast day, but I got a shot of the beer up there. Now, there's another restaurant. This is right next to the kids' pool. It's the Beach Bar and Grill. And again, it's right on the water. Pretty good, huh? Now, the Lagoon Terrace Buffet. This is pretty much where most people hang out. It's big, and there's a lot of food going on. Get whatever you like. Ice creams, big dessert bar. There's a chocolate fountain thing. You don't come here for your health. Um... And guess what? This also goes straight out onto the water. Yeah, um, just prepare to put on a few kilos when you come here. Um, 
The food is great, but you don't come here. It's not a health resort. This is the Italian restaurant, which kind of is on top of that um, one we just saw called the Golden Carry. And there's a really nice Italian, actually. This is more an adult's restaurant, and this um, looks out over the lagoon as well. It's, um, it was really nice food here, I thought. The Takali is the Asian kitchen. This is also where we went a couple of times. Again, buffet style there. And that's that bar that kind of hangs off it. This is nice. When we rocked up at the resort, this is the first restaurant I went to. And we thought, yep, we're in Fiji. When you have dinner, you can sit inside too, but you still get nice views. Wherever you are, you get nice views. Or you can just sit by the pool and have some fish and chips. Okay, we discovered the kids' club about halfway through. We really should have started it earlier. Um, but we're going to hang out with our kids. And then we want them to go to the kids' club. That's the play area for the little, the little ones. And for five years and older, there's this area here. And our kids loved it. They just wanted to go back. There's um, Lulu walking along yep. with our boys. And she was great. And it's not much per hour. There's like a, I don't know, a billiard tables and ping pong tables and stuff like that here. And a, little shops and get some money out of the bank. There's even a, uh, a bottle of you can go to and... Um, you know, go and bring it back to your room. So that's it. That's the resort. Uh, a quick video. It's look, it's great. It's a great place to bring your kids. I'd recommend it. Um, I hope that gives you a bit of a better perspective of it. One thing I couldn't find was a map. So I'm going to leave this video with a shot of the map. There you go. Check it out. Shangri-La, Fiji. Enjoy.